Hi guys and welcome to episode 5 of Illuminating Blackpool. Today we take on Dover Athletic in the FA Cup second round. But first of all, let's go back over what's happened while you've not been with me. So we beat Cheltenham 4-0 in our last video. Very good performance. We beat uh, Luton 1-0 in the FA Cup first round. We were knocked out finally of the Checker Trade Trophy by the Wolves under 23s. But unlucky we were though. Um, but I'm glad to be out of that, to be honest. Uh, we beat Notts County 1-0 with a late Danny Villiskirk winner. We beat Lake Orient away with the goals from Kane and Daniel. And then we lost 6-1 to Mansfield. 4-0 down at half-time. We were bloody dreadful. Uh, but we bounced back and we beat Newport 2-0. So currently, we sit top of League 2 with 35 points but the chasing pack is quite close together but we concentrate on the FA Cup this afternoon as we go to Crabble to take on Dover I will show you both teams well, you saw a quick glimpse of it there we'll see both teams in just a second So thank you for the love and support for episode number four. Great win over Cheltenham. Thoroughly enjoyed it. The world of smiles ground was not smiling. So the two lineups. Uh, so they've got Walker in goal. Magri, Ori, Grimes, Griffiths, Beer, Moore, Logan, Cook, Ricky Miller, Emmanuel up front. Ricky Miller and Emmanuel. Uh, we start with Sam Slocum in goal, Kenny, Aldridge, Robertson, Nolan, Cameron, Kane, Pugh, Colin Daniel, Danny Phyllis-Kirk and Jack Redshaw up front. So, can we pick up a win to take us through to round three of the FA Cup? To take on the Premier League big boys and the championship big hitters? Let's find out, shall we? As Dover get us underway. He's out with Magri on this, in the right back position. Moore up to Beer. Into Logan. And that's the end of that. There's a chance for us now. Phyllis Kirk heads it on to Cameron. Cameron through. Oh, side netting. Saved by the goalkeeper, but into the side netting. And we're going to see the corner as well. Corner's going to come in from Danny Pugh. Corner comes in. Sea of bodies. Cameron picks it up though. What's he going to do with it? Knocks it back to Kenny. Kenny should go out wide. Yep, it's out to Danny Pugh. Pugh comes into the box and it's an own goal. It's gone in off of Ricky Miller. Wrong net. And Blackpool have the lead. Let's have a look at the goal. See how Kenny does well to work the ball out to this right-hand side to where Danny Pugh is. Danny Pugh plays it through into the box and it just hits Miller and goes in. It's very unfortunate and quite harsh on Dover. But they find themselves a goal behind. Just coming up for half-time. It's fairness, it's probably no more than we deserve. We've had the better of it. Chance for a second one. Nolan out to Daniel Daniel into Redshaw Redshaw into the box Walker with the catch dangerous position again but nothing came of it and they go upfield Emmanuel onto Miller trying to make amends but Aldridge is there to cut it out and Redshaw is through where's he going Puts it wide. 
but it should have been he maybe should have done better with it maybe should have passed it but we'll find out so we lead 1-0 at half time can we kick on and get another one put the tie to bed and then look forward to the draw for the third round to see who we will be hosting or where we will be heading Robertson to Aldridge into Kenny Kenny out to Cameron and he's brought down by Griffiths and it's a free kick chance for Dover now Cook into the box Phyllis Kirk heads it out at only as far as Emmanuel Aldridge hit, clears away and a chance to break out here Phyllis Kirk up to Redshaw Colin Daniel is free at the far post if he can find it no no he can't Miller for Dover someone's got to try and stop the cross no one did and Emmanuel has equalized Dover's first shot and it's one apiece so Miller races down this right hand side plays it into the middle Emmanuel was there and it's 1-1 one, one. so from a position of superiority we have fluffed it and they've come out a lot more hungrier it would seem Kenny will pick it up though finds Cameron Cameron up to Phyllis Kirk can we do something with it here Phyllis Kirk into the box Redshaw into the net Blackpool back in front good cross from Danny Phyllis Kirk from that right hand side Jack Redshaw with the easy job of heading it in but it was headed in from quite a tight angle in fairness to him have a look at it there yeah it does well to get it in from there black puller back in front it's half an hour to go we might have a look at the substitutions uh, how are we looking we're actually looking all right so do you know what i'm gonna leave it i know shock horror i've not made a substitution on the hour give it another five minutes we'll see what happens we seem to be taking control of the game at the moment. So that Danny Pugh is about to be booked. It's only his first booking for us though today. Makes a change. Now I'm going to make some changes. Because people will be tiring. Yeah, Colin da Danny Pugh tiring in the middle. So Jim McAllister is going to come on. Uh, I'm going to do, do, do. I'm going to take Henry Cameron off. We're going to bring Will Atkinson on as well. I think that's going to be it. Two changes. Two changes with 20 to go. Let's see if we can see this game out. If we get through, we will have the draw for the third round coming up to see where we're going or who might be visiting Bloomfield Road Atkinson Eddie Nolan what the hell is Eddie Nolan doing there get back come on off you pop Will Atkinson with the corner in corner comes in Robertson's there and he's headed over it's a chance it's a chance to kill the game off and we've not taken it With 10 minutes to go, Dover are going to start to push people forward. And it's hopefully when we can start to get them on the break. Two minutes of added time. We look like we're going to escape the banana skin. 23rd in the National League against top of League 2. Redshaw over the bar, but it doesn't matter. Blackpool are safely through to round 3 the Emirates FA Cup well done boys that'll do I didn't want to say nothing in particular I don't think that's very helpful at all 
So I'll see you in a second for the draw. Welcome back. So we are at the third round draw for the Emirates FA Cup. We're going to do it automatically. 70 teams to come out. Obviously if Blackpool come out pretty sharpish, then I'll probably stop it there. But we'll go until we come out. So the first team out are Cardiff. And they will play Sunderland. Barnet or Braintree will play Port Vale. Manchester United, no. We'll play Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs> Newport will play Brighton. Yeovil or Morecambe will play Manchester City. Wigan are at home to Everton. Birmingham are at home to Burton Albion. Wolves are at home to Peterborough. Aston Villa will play Southampton. Oh no, not all Premier League time. Rochdale will play Oldham. AFC Wimbledon will play Barnsley. Fulham will play West Brom. Watford will play the MK Dons. Reading are at home to Derby. Bradford are at home to Burnley. Middlesbrough are at home to Tottenham. Oh, Jesus. Cambridge will play Cheltenham. All League Two affair. Portsmouth or Bolton will play Newcastle. Chelsea will play Mansfield or Shrewsbury. Stoker at home to Accrington Stanley or Torquay. Blackpool are at home to Bournemouth. Holy Christ. Bournemouth. Oh, Boot FM. Hang on, Boot's coming out next. Huddersfield are at home to Norwich. There you go, Boot. So, let's just sim the rest of the draw. So we are at home to Bournemouth in the third round of the FA Cup. Not a bad result, not a bad draw to go with it. Thank you to Bood for the new graphic, looks really good. So if you've liked this video, please leave a like. If you would like to subscribe to the channel, please do so. And if you would like to follow me on Twitter, you can. Also, if you have any suggestions, anything that we'd like to add, please leave a comment. That was episode five of Illuminating Blackpool, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot, bye bye.